Hey everybody and welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at how a certain script works that will make our creation of kitchens very very fast and easy. Now what exactly what sort of kitchens exactly can we do with this kind of a script? It's this sort of a kitchen. So basically a lot of doors, a lot of uh, cupboards and generally not nothing that's too complicated to create but I'll bite a bit time consuming. So we're gonna see how we can create this with the help of a script. Now, before I go off and actually explain how the script works, I have to note one thing. This is not a script made by me. And even the fact that I found out about this script is interesting since it popped up on my YouTube recommended videos. And this is a script made from a guy called Panubis 3D, a very, very small channel. And you're going to see in a, a second once I actually start explaining what the script does. This is an amazing script. So I will leave a link down in the description. So make sure you go ahead, check his uh, channel and there you will uh, have a way to download the script as well. And also another thing that I would like to note is the fact that when you download the script from his place, when you drop it here, this is how it's going to look. So as you can see, it's not made in uh, English. So I think this is Turkish. Since I don't speak the language, what I actually did is I went in and with the help of uh, YouTube Translate or Google Translate, I did some of the translation here. So I will leave a link to this uh, version as well. But for any feedback or anything like that, you would have to go over on Panubis 3D's uh, YouTube channel and leave your comments over there and help uh, hopefully he will be able to help you out with any questions that you might have. All right, so now let's jump in and see uh, how exactly does this script work. In order to get this thing to work, what you will need to do is basically draw out some splines. What I've did is I've just went in and really really quickly just created some rectangles with given uh, length and width so this is not a 3d model just a very simple uh, line with uh, different parameters now the reason for making these is that generally this is the standard height for a kitchen the kitchen table uh, height would be 90 uh, centimeters so this is what we got so if I take a look at my kitchen here on uh, this image I can see that I have uh, these doors here that are very uh, tall. We have some uh, longer doors that are uh, awning or opening and yeah pretty much boxes on all sides. So let's really quickly go ahead using these lines let's create a template for a kitchen that we can use. So I'm gonna select all of these and just move them up a bit and I'm going to select and make a copy down over here. Now, I want to have, let's say, move these to the side. And I'm going to put in one more copy over here like this. This will make it so I have two doors here that have a small drawer up here. So next to it, I want to have two ones that won't have a drawer. So I'm going to put this one over here. Just copy one more next to it. And let's just finish it off with uh, two long drawers. So snap this thing over here. Or better yet, let's just make it three. Well, in this case, it actually won't work this way. So let's do it like this and remove this one. And just to end it, add two more over on this side. There we go. So we have a long type of a kitchen here. Actually, this part here was not the best design ever, but I guess we can just put it like this. And for now, just remove this one and leave this thing empty. All right. And also for the top here, like the overhang, let's just put in some of these guys over here and go in copy up a few more versions of this thing so let's try with three 
and one more maybe on this side like this. All right, so we have a blueprint on how we want to have our kitchen uh, work or how we want to have our kitchen look like. I'm going to put this thing to the side so it's not in the way. And now we can start working with uh, the script. When you download the script, what you're going to get is an MS file. And all you have to do is just drag it and drop it into your user interface. This will activate the UI for the script. Now, here is what we have to do here or what we can do with this script. First, though, over here, you have the cabinets and then you have a depth for centimeter validate. You can input and you have this button for create cabinet. Now, what we want to do is basically, since we know that this whole thing here will be our base for the kitchen, we want to go in and input a depth here. Let's go with 60 centimeters and just click on the button create cabinet. Now, this will take all of these shapes. It will do all the um, code that the script does. And in here right now, it should give us the geometry for this kitchen. As you can see right away, we got all of this done. And as you can see, if we select all of these individually, they're all individual elements. So we, we don't have to spend any more time doing this. Now, uh, we can do here another just go in 40 and select the top ones and hit create cabinet. This will create it in the same way. But since this one here is for the top part, this one is supposed to be smaller. So as you can see from the side, this one is 40 centimeters. So if we take a take the move tool and we can uh, snap this thing back to the wall, this will look just right. But before we actually start moving, let's see what else uh, uh, we have here as options that we can use. The second thing that we have in the script is this covers. Now, what this thing does, it will basically, I can select all of these rectangles that we have uh, created or all of these splines and input a thickness for uh, here, like thickness two centimeters and just click on flat cover. This will automatically create covers for all of these cupboards up here. Now, the thing here with this script is that sometimes when you create a cabinet, in this case, it wasn't a problem, but sometimes when you create a cabinet, you might actually have to close the script and re uh, reopen it again in order for this thing to work uh, correctly. But as you can see this time, it worked just right. We have a nice uh, front here. So uh, it has a nice cover and it even has a nice chamfer added to it. So you can get a nice bit of light to it. So another thing that we can do here as well is, for example, we can mix it up a bit. So if I go ahead and select, let's say just these guys, and again, click on flat cover, this will create a cover just like the one on the top. But we also have the ability to basically select the splines that we would like to have a glass cover. Now, once we select these splines and we click on the glass cover, what this will create is a door that actually has an inset and inside that inset, we have an actual geometry that we can use as a glass. And as you can see, it's very, very fast to create something like this. So if we make this thing see through, you will see that there is some geometry in there and we can use it like this. Now, one of the drawbacks that I did uh, see with this uh, script is that once you actually create this thing and if you isolate, you're gonna notice that generally this is not what you want. For some reason, it's giving you off this uh, extra geometry. So you, you, what you can always do is just go in, select the polygon, grow it a few times, delete, and you might end up with a problem like this. If you go back, you will see that not always this thing will uh, work in that manner. So you might actually have to go in and manually delete some of these uh, faces. But in any case, a very, very fast way of creating these types of doors. And the last thing that we can add with the help of this script 
is adding some handles. Now, the handles thing is very interesting also because, for example, let's select all of these on the top here and these two over here. So basically everywhere that we have a handle that doesn't have one of these uh, glass covers. So here we have this uh, button and next to it you have type one. If you scroll down over here, you have three types of handles that we can use. So if I go over here and I select the type two, type one, doesn't matter. You can uh, decide how big the handle should be in length. You have different uh, sizes for the length and you have a vertical or horizontal uh, direction. So for these ones, I'm going to choose the horizontal one. I'm going to leave the size to 22 centimeters and I'm going to click on handles. And you will see right away as I click that every place that has been selected will get a handle created for it. So if I zoom in, you will see that all of these now have a handle. Uh, the great thing about this is that you 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 might actually uh, need to go in and modify the position, or if you don't like the horizontal one, you can just uh, delete these ones. So let's say we don't like these ones. Maybe we'd like to have them uh, vertical, so you can reselect them again, change the horizontal to a vertical option, and just click again on the handles option. This will create the handles, but this time around, again, it's going to be vertical. There we go. So we go in, select all of these, move it to the side. Well, they, these probably should have stayed uh, horizontal ones, so we can just select one and rotate around for 90, and that's will put it into position. There we go. Lower it down and we got this thing well positioned. Now, over here, let's say for example, for, uh, for these, we can change the type to maybe uh, put, take all of the ones that actually have a, a glass to them, make it a vertical one and create the handles. Again, it will create it in the middle, so we will need to push them around a bit to make them sit at the right position. There we go. Just select all of them. And with the move, just move it aside to wherever you need it or wherever you want to have your handles for that. And as you can see, right away we have quite a bit already done for this kitchen. Now, like I said, if you uh, select the top here, you can snap this uh, back to uh, here. And you basically have the entire uh, kitchen already done. And now as an added bonus uh, at the end, we can also create the kitchen uh, top or the kitchen counter. And in order to create that, what we will need to do is basically create one more spline that we can use for that. So I'm going to select my top here, go over in my top viewport and holding down control, right click. I'm just going to go on rectangle selection and snap one spline from one edge to the other like this. Zoom in, check if everything is right. Yes, it is. So with this spline selected, we don't have to do anything to change any uh, of the parameters. All we got to do is just click on the kitchen counter button over here. This will go through the script and it will create this geometry for us. So if I move it around, you will see that we have this top and we have this uh, bottom part. Generally, I have no idea why it's creating two of these. So you might actually go, uh, might want to go in and delete one of them. But yeah, we got that. So if I end the isolate and just now remove all of those splines, this is the kitchen that we got with the help of this script. And it only took us <laughs> roughly about a few minutes. And we don't have to spend this much time just creating everything in this script.
or everything uh, without this script. So having tried all of this, it's very fast for doing something like this, but also this script can be used if you want to have a bit more of a complicated uh, shape. For example, let's add in just one more version over here. And this time around, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna turn this into an edible spline. And in here, I'm going to go in and change the actual shape for this kitchen. So I'm going to make it into something more interesting or more complex shape, maybe something like this. There we go. Now, again, if I use the script, well, definitely not going to do it this way, because as you can see, I shouldn't have been moving this thing uh, this way. So eh, let's just again go to corners, now Bezier corners. And again, let's just try and move uh, these in 2D, not 3D. There we go. Maybe even something like this. So if I use the script again, so I'm going to open it up. I can use it to create something like this. Create a cabinet. It will create it like this, but also you need to be careful as to what uh, what is the resolution for your spline because this is directly going to be influenced by the interpolation step. So the more interpolation steps you have here, the more geometry you're going to get. So if you go in more interpolations, when you delete this, you're going to get a smoother result for the shape of the kitchen. And also for something like this, you can um, use it for the thickness of the uh, covers. And there we go. We got a nice fish look, uh, fish like looking uh, cupboard. But also another thing that's um, uh, worth noticing is that depending on the edge or the angle of the edge, you might run into problems like this. So when uh, the script does the chamfer, it has some uh, some of the parameters that will limit the angle. So if this happens, all you have to do is just go in here, delete the edit poly, and on top of it, just go in, drop in a, a regular chamfer of your own, 0.1, and increase this minimum angle to maybe like 50. And that should get rid of most of those issues. So Again, you have a very, very fast way of creating uh, this sort of uh, kitchen. And we can use the handles again, different types, different sizes. Doesn't matter, it always will work like this. There we go. So hope you guys liked the video and you found it helpful. If you enjoyed the video, then click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. If you would like to support me and the channel, the support links are below in the description of the videos, as well as the links to get the script and a link to Panobis 3D's YouTube channel. Also, if you happen to be using some other scripts that make your life easier, feel free and leave a comment in the video with the set, uh, scripts and share it with everybody. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.